now we have everything ready to work but before we start i would like to talk a little bit about the general concept of the burp proxy burp is an intercepting http proxy which means that it works as a normal http proxy and allows you to intercept and manipulate all requests and responses going through this proxy um, it only works with the http protocol now but nowadays even rich clients uh, use http for communication so this doesn't mean that you can only test web applications with burp also if you work with uh, ssl uh, burp supports ssl so uh, testing https applications shouldn't be a problem let me show you this really sophisticated diagram as you can see we have these three things in our architecture on the client side we have our browser on the server side uh, in our case there will be the web code and all traffic goes through uh, burp which is our proxy it's so simple there is not much to say about this it is that simple in the previous section we told the browser with proxy boxer to send every traffic through burp and this is the most comfortable way sometimes that you don't have the luxury to to do it this way because because for instance um, only internet explorer is supported or uh, proxying is not supported at all and uh, you had to you have to trick your operating system to send traffic through through burp but um, but this is the most comfortable setup so i recommend you to do it this way with uh, with foxy proxy and directing everything to burp uh, as long as there is no technical difficulty stopping you let's look at burp a little bit before going into details so this is our this is our burp proxy or yeah this is the burp suite burp consists of uh, different modules the modules can you see here these these tabs are the different modules so the tar target proxy spider scanner etc all these modules implement uh, different feature sets so they're like uh, different tools and um, the whole concept is that that if you if you find a request somewhere uh, then you can just take that request and, and send it to the module uh, where you can where you can do what you want with that request so for instance um, mostly our requests are here in the proxy because here you can see everything which went, which went through your proxy and here we see that there was this request which uh, which was loading the web goat slash attack page so if you thought if we thought that this um, this request was interesting and we want to play with it manually then we can just uh, right click on it and say uh, send to the repeater and now you see the repeater uh, turned orange showing that there is a new request there and you see here are the requests which were sent to the repeater and then you can start playing uh, playing with this request in this repeater i don't want to show you what repeater exactly does because uh, because there will be a section for each module and uh, I will explain everything in details there. Uh, just to quickly go through, as I mentioned, the proxy is the uh, proxy is the place where you see what went through your proxy. The target is the place uh, where you see all traffic organized in a tree format. It's good to have an overview of the application. And uh, there's a spider, it's a spidering tool. There's a scanner, which is not available in the free edition, but otherwise it's an automated scanner tool. Uh, the intruder is like uh, the half automated solution of testing where you can say what parts of the request you, you want to send and you want to say what, which, what, which payloads you want to use. And then it, uh, it will automate this. The, the repeater is the very manual test where you play with one request at a time and see what's the response the sequencer is good for testing uh, randomness it's usually to test uh, random tokens like session cookies etc uh, it has some mathematical tests built in uh, which can find out the entropy of the randomness the the decoder is uh, is a really simple tool uh, to make your life easy to encode or decode URL encoding, HTML encoding, Base64, things like that. The Comper allows you to compare request responses, generally some kind of strings. 
and uh, you might know already but burp is an extendable tool so you can write your own burp extension and install that in your burp suite and yeah this way you can build any kind of plugins what you want and options alerts that they are not that interesting so these are the different modules in the tool and uh, now we're going to start to go into details and talk about each module separately. So let's go.